much! Aloha! As you can see from the title, this is another reacting to horror movie trailers video. But before we get into that, I want to talk about something because my friend, I saw Hereditary. I don't feel I'm, I'm prepared enough to give like a full review, so I don't want to go too in depth. I just want to talk about something that I really loved. And it's the fact that as I was watching it, I felt like I was taken back to like good old fashioned traditional get right under people's skin horror and I was just like ah oh, all about it. The cinematography of that film was fantastically done. They did an incredible job. I actually after watching the film I went back and kind of watched the snippet where I talked about the trailer and I did like my trailer reaction. I never usually watch my own videos back because I hate listening to my own voice but I braved it for that purpose. And like, I could actually see it in my face as I was reacting to the trailer. And it, and it all paid off. Like everything that I got that I was hoping for when I watched that trailer, I feel like I got. I know that for a lot of people, the movie um, felt quite slow to begin with. And I definitely think it went back to like traditional horror and that's one of the ways that it did it. It was just done so well. I wanna, I wanna give that film a freaking standing ovation. It was fabulous. It's not to say that there, there weren't bits of it where I thought, oh, I wish this happened or just a, a split second earlier or later or, or anything like that. Of course, everyone's gonna watch a film and wish like little tiny tweaks, but it was, oh, I loved it. If you're a horror fan and you haven't watched it, I would recommend to watch it. I'm not saying that I, th I think hype culture did get to it a little bit and it did, you know, wound it a little bit ever so slightly. I can't remember if it was a critic or a newspaper or whatever it was, but they called it like this era's, like this generation's exorcist. And I was like, oh, okay, wow. But honestly, after watching the two films, I don't see how they're comparable at all. So I don't see how you could call one this generation's exorcist, like, nah. So I think once that was said, it caused a little bit of a misconception as to what actually the movie was gonna be and what that meant it was gonna be, if you know what I'm saying? It's really strange to explain. I think comparing it to The Exorcist gave a misdirection as to what the movie was gonna be like. Because truth be told, it's nothing like The Exorcist. The Exorcist is an entirely different beast, but it is not a bad film by any means. I think the way that it was made was incredible. I think a lot of thought went into it and I think it was strategic horror. That's probably the best way I can say it. It was strategic horror. Every single thing that happened in that movie happened for a freaking reason and it was planned that way and it paid off. As far as I'm concerned, it paid off for me. So I wanted to get that out there. I was very excited about the film. Like if you could have seen me when I was watching it, I was just like, give me more of this industry, come on. Horror movies took a dip for a while. They really did. They resorted to jump scares. They resorted to gore, which is an entirely different genre altogether as far as I'm concerned. Um, but seeing like some good old-fashioned horror tricks come into play here, I'm like, yes, we are getting it. And with that, let's watch some more horror trailers, shall we? Oh, for God's sake, earphones. Who, what, why, how? They were literally flat on the bed. I didn't touch them. How? Someone phoned an exorcist. We're gonna get on with it now. Now, normally with this, I have a trailer that you guys recommended. I have a trailer in mind, and then I just look for the third one or fourth one or however many I decide to do in the recommended section. So I'm gonna start off with one that I really wanna watch. Kinda, not really. <laughs> a wee while back, I watched the teaser trailer for the Nun movie and I let mm, every hair on my body literally just stood on end there. Like, I don't understand why it scares me so much. I don't understand why it has that effect on me. Maybe it's mind over matter. I do not know. But anyway, the full trailer or at least a longer trailer or teaser has been released and I want to react to it for you guys. I don't want that. The Nun 2018. Oh, Jesus. Okay, here we go. The Nun official teaser trailer. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm prepared. I'm so, I'm ready for this moment. <sighs> Make sure you watch to the end. Why? No. The painting offer's bad enough, god damn it. I had a series of visions when I was younger. Have they CGI'd that? After so they each are... one ended, the same thought would be stuck in my head. No, is it just me or just her eye? Ha, ha, ho, nah, 
<clears throat> is it just me or have they CGI'd the eyes of the painting to become more lifelike? Is it just me? Am I hallucinating? Also, when it faded away to black, her eyes stayed put for a good wee while longer than everything else. And I know, I, it, is there something behind me? <clears throat> okay. What did you see? I saw none. No. This is, no, before the, no. Word of my visions reached the church. I was asked to accompany a priest to an abbey in Romania. For Annabelle. Has a long history. For look, not all good. Well, we gathered that the darkest chapter was born. Why? She no, down. no. Galen's here. Why? No, no. September seventh. I know where I'll be. I'll be hiding. She's behind her, isn't she? She's gonna be there. She's gonna be there. She's gonna be there. No! No, she's fall! No! 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 Nope! Nope! Land of nope! Land of nope! Whack her over the head! Do it! Would not be that. Fudge! Pray for forgiveness. <laughs> that bit got me. It freaking got me. Oh my god. Why am I so sensitive to nuns? We're gonna keep that between me and you, okay? That did not happen. <laughs> As I was watching that, it was like I was hitting extremes on the sides of this like spectrum. So I was either stuck and I couldn't talk and I wanted to just listen to everything like, oh my God, what's happening, what's happening? Or I was on the complete other end, which you saw where I just wanted to keep talking to try and distract myself and not hear what was going on. In terms of the story, we don't necessarily have much, but this is a teaser trailer. This is not the full trailer release. If they're releasing in September though, I'd imagine the real trailer, like the full length feature trailer, is gonna be coming very, very soon. As of right now though, we don't have too much of the story to go on. We can pretty much see where some of the core characters are gonna be, or at least who they're gonna be. We may not know much about them, but at least we have that. We do have clear references to the Conjuring universe, because obviously it said before the Conjuring, and therefore it is before the Conjuring too. You've got before Annabelle, which we knew already. So at least by dropping in little hints like that we have at least a clarification of the timeline. Also I can't remember exactly but when the first Conjuring movie came out I actually think they went down a similar route in terms of their trailer like there was a, a short kind of teaser trailer then a full feature trailer and neither of them really gave you a massive like segment of information because I think what makes these movies and this kind of universe so strong is the mystery of them because they're not your cut and dry, haunted house, poltergeisty, you know, legend, demon movie. They go a lot deeper than that and I think partially because they're based on true stories, they do that. One thing I'm really hoping is, obviously that, that part did jump scare me, but in trailers people are notorious for cutting things together in a way that, you know, creates a scary moment that doesn't actually happen in the film. Now obviously we can see that she does jump out from the side and I'm guessing that will still happen in the movie. However, that is just one moment and I'm really hoping that it stays as that one moment, or at least very few. I just feel like it has so much potential to communicate horror to an audience in a way that is not jump scares. In some cases when jump scares are used very, very well and strategically, they can have the effect that you just saw. Like, I pat my shants. But when they're overused, they become cheap and predictable and they're no longer scary. They're more like you jump and you laugh because you just jumped and it takes away from those like 30 seconds after the jump scare moment where like some real intriguing stuff could happen. So I hope they don't use too many of them. I'm not going to make assumptions based on a teaser that short. Um, I really don't think they're, they're the type of you know, studio to go down the route of jump scares, but just putting it out there, I really hope they don't. Those are my thoughts. Shall we move on? Yes, we shall. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to my channel, I'm gonna go to comments, and I'm gonna isolate the comments from the previous 
horror movie trailers videos. If you haven't seen them already, since they came out a few years ago, you should react to the trailer for Hush and It Follows. I have actually seen them. I enjoyed Hush. If it's the Hush, I know that there's two. Um, if it's the Hush that I'm thinking of, Damn. Carrie 2013, I have seen it, I have seen the trailers. Let Me In, which is the US remake of Let the Right One In, I have seen that. The Orphan, yes I've seen that. Winchester 2018 movie, I'll add that. Okay, we have a third one, um, Unsane, also 2018. So, I'm gonna put those three into a random generator and then it'll pick which one we're gonna watch. And the computer says Unsane is the movie we're gonna be watching, or the trailer we're gonna be watching rather. Just going by the name of this movie, I'm guessing it's gonna centre around the idea of someone's sanity or insanity, but because it's called Unsane, that's a, that's a little bit uh, different. Could it be that someone is sane and you're trying to unsane them? Like you're actually trying to unravel their mind? Is there something or someone trying to do that to a person? I do not know. I'm gonna put my phone on silent because I feel like this is gonna be a good one. Okay, unsane official trailer number one, 2018. Let's do this. Seriously, call me. I love you. I need you. Hello. Damn. David's committed. <laughs> Look, this oh. your life slips away from you, you know? Changing your phone number and your email becomes normal. Stalking. <sighs> Taking out a restraining order, normal. Relocating to another city, normal. But you still see your stalker everywhere? Rationally, I know this is my imagination, but I'm alone in a strange city and I never feel safe. There's some more oh forms to fill out. Just routine. I finished my homework. Sawyer Valentini, please follow me. What? Well, look, I, I don't have a lot of time. I, I should be back at work, so. What am I doing in here? Take off your clothes down to your underwear. I'm not sure what's happening here. The door's locked. It would be better what? for everyone, especially yourself, if you just do as I ask. There's been some kind of mistake. By signing this, you've consented to voluntary commitment. I am being held here against my will. Do you know how many calls the cops get like that every week? She was tricked. Those are from crazy people. Oh my god! Oh no, oh, uh-uh. This man, he's followed me all the way here Hell from no. Boston. I'm calling the cops and I want him arrested! I'm getting you! My stalker is here. Oh we my did a god. Background check. You should be protecting me. Mom, no one believes me. I'm getting you out. There's nothing we can do unless you have proof that a crime's been committed. You need to get out of here right now! Jesus. I must be insane. Oh my god! I must be insane. My mom didn't pick up last night. Hello? I must be insane. What happened to her? A dead body was discovered. I must be insane. He's here. Or maybe it's all in my head. Oh, okay. Because of some things that have been in the news recently, that I found particularly disturbing. I remember watching an interview like last week at some point and it was a woman who believed that she was being stalked and the police had suggested to her that she move and she did and she relocated. This woman had a family though, she wasn't on her own and um, eventually people started to think that she was creating the whole situation and then it, it turned out that it wasn't and she was nearly killed and oh very scary very some something like that scares me in a way that something like the nun doesn't the nun gives me this shivers down my spine like something isn't right feeling something like that makes me feel terrified the cut of the trailer was quite interesting at times it felt very cinematic and then at times it felt very disjointed and maybe that's to do with the fact that you know, someone's mind is becoming a little bit disjointed at times, perhaps. Admittedly, it did feel at times watching the trailer that it was trying a little bit too hard at being 
disjointed and showing you random parts. In terms of the visual style of the actual film, in terms of like the, the colouring and and the sets and such of, of what we saw anyway, seems like they're going for like hyper realism, but then at times it also looked stylized and I couldn't really tell what one it was going for. Maybe it's that blend of both when you know the sanity starts coming into question and then everything becomes this a little bit more fluid and it kind of moves between, I don't know. It didn't seem like the filming quality was 100% there. It did look very grainy. If that is the intention or not, I don't know. Normally when you start to watch films where that is the case, you, you can tell right off the bat, but from a trailer, because it is designed to pull people in, you can't tell if it's made that way on purpose or if it's just thrown in there for effect. You, you can't really tell. It did look like the filming quality was a little bit yeah. Now we're just looking at random movies that are coming out, one from the recommended section, and we're gonna pick one, so let's see what we have. Okay, one that's come up was actually recommended by one of you guys, and it's Winchester. Hey, let's go to the Winchester! Whose f***ing idea was that? It came up in the recommended section as I searched through, so let's see what this has in store for us. Helen Mirren and Jason Clark. Alrighty. Winchester official trailer. I feel the presence. Into it. In the air. In the walls. It has found us. Okay. Strange melty face there. Uh. It's gargantuan seven-storied structure with no apparent rhyme or reason. Built on the orders of a grieving widow. Sarah Winchester's wow. mind is as chaotic as the house itself. We're worried about her sanity, Dr. Price. Oh. Mrs. Winchester, it's a pleasure to finally meet okay. you. Okay. So it's a strange house. It's part of the owl. Do you believe in ghosts, Dr. Price? I do not believe in anything I cannot see or study. I feel their presence. In the air, in the walls, it has found us. Okay, but what? Mrs. Winchester, why all the construction? The spirit, killed by the rifle. We lock them away. Thirteen nails seals them in. I will do whatever it takes to protect my family. Wow, okay. Oh, right, okay. We've not seen before. Beautiful dream, wake on to me. Okay, as soon as you put a kid in it, it's automatically scarier. Sounds of the root won't hurt in the day. I'm not afraid. I'm by the moonlight and I'll away. What on earth? Leave my family alone. Whoa, right? Your anger. Will never defeat us. Oh, it's gonna try to look. Oh, for God's sake. No, no, okay. Right. Okay then. That one's quite interesting, and I'm getting like different feels from different films based on the trailer, like for example, the idea of building a, oh, the idea of building a strange house takes me back to 13 Ghosts that had rooms with um, spells on the, the glass to lock different ghosts in. Obviously that movie, you know, that house was made with an entirely different purpose in mind. I also got a little bit of the others feel with like the black veil and just with the, the period style of the whole movie. And yeah, I'm just, I, I'm just, I'm confused. It seemed like we were gonna be into like the, the haunted house realm and then it seemed like the house was built in a really strange way because it kept on having to be rebuilt and bits added to hide and keep the various spirits in as they arose. And then they became violent to me, which says poltergeist. And then from what it looked like, it started to possess and that to me says demon. So what is it that we're dealing with here? Somebody call Ghostbusters, cause I need some help. A very intriguing film, a very strange trailer and a very strange concept. I imagine that there's gonna be much more in the film than what was shown in the trailer. This one again is out, it came out in February, so I'm gonna have to add that one itchy nose to my list. I feel that because of the nature of the trailer, it seems like the storyline is gonna be quite, you know, juggly and quite complex. If that is the case, I feel like a cast like that is gonna be able to carry it relatively well. Whether 
whether they actually pulled it off remains to be seen. So there you go, that was me reacting to some more horror movie trailers. Let me know what you thought of the trailers. Have you seen any of the movies that I watched trailers for? Are you excited for The Nun? Also let me know in the comments what other movies you want me to react to next time. I'm very, very open to new releases, old ones that I maybe haven't heard of, like just throw them all in there, I'll watch whatever. At the end of the day though, as always, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big one of these. If you want to see more reacting to horror movie trailers videos, they are right up there in that playlist and down there is my mental health awareness and suicide prevention fundraiser series. If you didn't know already, we are raising money for a charity called Here For You, which is a mental health awareness, suicide prevention and counselling charity for the Clydesdale area. Not enough people know that the help they offer is out there, so the money we raise is going to go directly towards outreach and just maybe someone who needs help is going to know that they are there on the other end of the phone and it could potentially save a life so if you want to donate to that the top link in the description takes you to that just giving page but other than that much love you guys and i shall see you all very soon i have a lot going on bear with bye